So the first thing I'm going to do is to cut back both the outer sole and the, the inner sole. Um, be careful while you do that because this is quite thick leather so we're going to need to apply some force and that's when it gets dangerous so make sure to cut away from yourself. You don't have to worry about small irregularities because at the end of this all we're going to just run this by the belt sander again and we'll be fine. I have trimmed down the excess um, material on our sole so that it's sort of equally all around the shoe. I've done that on both sides. Um, it's not 100% smooth because we're going to be running it um, against the belt sander later on. Uh, if you don't have a belt sander then you can use some sanding paper to sort of smooth out the edges but you can also do that later after we put on the um, rubber. So now I'm going to get my groove on. Um, I'm going to use this grooving uh, instrument to make a groove all along like that, um, equidistant to the edge, about a bit less than half a centimeter. Um, that's like what, a quarter of an inch, something like that. Um, and then once the groove is made, we're going to be sewing um, both of them together all along this groove. So on the outside of the shoe here and then here. And the idea is that this, by, by laying the thread in the groove, it will be protected. Like if we take steps and, you know, um, the thread won't be exposed here and so it won't break with the, when we wear down. Here it will be less of an issue because it will be covered. Um, but by laying it in the groove it will be not a bump that our glue has to sort of um, work around. So it will be in the leather and this will stick better. So, next up, making a groove. There we go. You can see it best here because of the different texture, but we have this ridge that goes all the way around our shoe where our stitches will lie in. Stitches that will come here at the other end. So we'll sew everything together and make our shoe really strong. 